the 2025 Kawasaki C-2 represents a bold leap forward in Japan's military and strategic airlift capability. Built by Kawasaki Heavy Industries, this next-generation aircraft continues to solidify its role as a critical asset in the Japan Air Self-Defense Forces JASF, fleet. Combining power, range, and versatility, the C-2 is rapidly becoming a standout platform not just in Asia, but across the global military aviation landscape. Let's begin with the heart of the aircraft aids performance. The C-2 is powered by two General Electric CF680 C2K1F turbofan engines, each producing over 60,000 pounds of thrust. These are the same engines found in many wide-body commercial aircraft, providing the C-2 with exceptional reliability and efficiency. Thanks to this power, the aircraft can cruise at speeds close to 900 km per hour and boasts a service ceiling of over 13,000 meters. With a maximum payload of 37.6 tons, it far outpaces the older Kawasaki C-1 it replaces and even rivals some Western counterparts in its category. Range is another key strength of the C-2. Fully loaded, it can fly up to 7,600 km without refueling. That means the aircraft can fly non-stop from Tokyo to Honolulu with a full payload, enabling Japan to project its logistical capabilities far beyond its borders. This extended range and heavy lift capacity make the C-2 ideal for not just military logistics, but also humanitarian missions disaster relief, and international cooperation operations. When it comes to design, the C-2 features a high-wing configuration, T-tail, and real loading ramp, making cargo handling highly efficient. The internal cargo bay is large enough to accommodate heavy vehicles, helicopters, and oversized cargo that would be impossible to transport with older aircraft. The C-2's landing gear is robust with 12 wheels spread across six bogies, giving it the ability to operate from semi-prepared or austere runways. This all-terrain capability means it can be deployed to remote areas during emergencies or in wartime conditions without relying on fully developed airfields. Inside the cockpit, the C-2 embraces the digital age. A glass cockpit layout includes large multifunction displays and fly-by-wire controls. Advanced avionics and navigation systems reduce pilot workload and improve situational awareness. It's not just about technology for technology's sake. These features allow for more precise flying in complex environments, whether it's in congested airspace or low visibility conditions. But beyond the raw performance and specs, the strategic implications of the C-2 are where it gets truly interesting. Japan has long depended on foreign-made aircraft, particularly American platforms, for its military needs. With the C-2, Kawasaki is showcasing a domestically designed and built aircraft that is capable of meeting and even exceeding global standards. That gives Japan greater autonomy in defense planning and industrial development. It also positions the C-2 as a potential export product, and while sales haven't yet taken off internationally, several nations have reportedly shown interest in the platform. Another noteworthy point is interoperability. The C-2 has been tested and operated in joint exercises with allies like the United States and Australia. It's compatible with international cargo handling standards, which makes it an easy fit in multinational operations. As Japan becomes more active in global peacekeeping and relief missions, Having an aircraft like the C-2 enhances its ability to work seamlessly alongside allies. Looking at its operational history, the C-2 has already proven its value. It has been deployed in real-world missions including the evacuation of Japanese citizens from conflict zones and the delivery of critical supplies during natural disasters. Each of these missions highlights the C-2's dual role capacity as both a strategic military transport and a tool for diplomacy and humanitarian outreach. In terms of production and deployment, the JASTF has gradually expanded its C-2 fleet, with plans to increase its numbers over the coming years. Kawasaki continues to refine the aircraft, and there's speculation that new variants could be developed, including versions for aerial refueling, surveillance, or even electronic warfare. In conclusion, 
The 2025 Kawasaki C2 is not just a workhorse it's a symbol of Japan's rising aerospace ambitions. Its blend of power, versatility, and cutting-edge design places it firmly among the world's top military transport aircraft. Whether delivering aid across oceans or supporting troops in demanding environments, the C-2 is clearly built for the demands of the 21st century and beyond.